it's delicious. Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, just Sonic. And today, we're gonna focus on how to make your own Minecraft server in Minecraft Bedrock Edition. So this is the second video about this tutorial. I've already made another tutorial if you didn't check it out yet. The previous one was using a website, it's called Aternals. Uh, this website allows you to get one Minecraft server for free. So all of you guys in that other video said, well, they had some problems with that server or that website. So we're gonna use another method right here, using another website. So. This is not a normal world. This is a server that I'm in right now. I'm going to show you guys in a minute how you're going to create this server for your own. As you can see there, the name is called Bedrock Level. When you go to the settings, uh, I'm actually OP'd. I'm going, to, I'm going to show you guys everything. The only thing that you need to notice or know about is you cannot activate the cheats, as I think at least. So there's no way to activate cheats. You can only be OP and change the game mode i think that's enough <laughs> for you so yeah before watching this video if you are new to the channel make sure to subscribe i make add-ons and some weird other stuff about minecraft also like the video hit the bell share it with your friends maybe it's gonna be useful and without further ado let's get into it okay so here we are in google chrome or google.com all you need to search for the link will be down in the description by the way if you don't, if you are lazy enough and you don't want to search for anything, so all you need to do is search for server.pro and click enter. And uh, there you go. You're going to see, notice the first one right away. Click on that. This is a brand new server. This is the server that I just uh, tested and it worked perfectly. You're going to start from the beginning <laughs> because, of course, uh, you're watching and you have no idea about it. Okay, as you can see there, uh, you are going to notice this page this is the main page it's going to say professional game servers easy to set up and easier to use and that's correct it's, it might be easier than the other server that's just my opinion but uh, i'm going to show you guys everything first off you, you have to sign up using facebook or using your uh, email if you don't have facebook or you don't want to use it all you need to do is type in your email right there also your password so type in these two stuff and click sign up okay after you're done with the email and password all you need to do is click sign up and then it's going to send you to this web page it's going to say activate your account all you need to do is go to your email address and activate it from there i think this is easy enough to understand and i don't have to show you anything so in your email thing you're going to notice this web page you have to get this email all you need to do is click activate account it's going to send you to this other web page right here. So it's going to say create server and there is a free method right there. It's going to give you low cores, like two cores right there and one gigabyte of memory. And it doesn't cost anything, but however, this is the cheapest thing that costs for free. There are actually more memory that you can get. The more memory that you can get, the more you can expand your survival or your creative world. So be careful right here. It's just one gigabyte. I just told you. Next, you're going to select the location. And for this, there's only two locations. To summarize, if you live in North America or close to that, you have to choose Canada. If you live in, near Europe, just use France. And I'm just going to use France because of the previous reason that I said. Next, there's the configurations. You can actually make it for the Minecraft Java edition, Minecraft Bedrock edition, or Terraria. There's even Terraria in there if you want to make a server over there i just yeah you can make one it's gonna give you the version and stuff so we're gonna from notes on minecraft bedrock edition it's gonna give you the type and the version right there so you don't have to change anything and then go to the host name and type in the name of your server i think you can only use it once and you can never change it again unless you pay so um, be careful here okay so i just choose my host name right there and it says dot my server dot gs this is just the compilation of your ip address basically you can choose the, a custom one over there but i'm just going to leave it by default so it's going to be bababoy 21 dot my server dot gs to finalize it uh it's going to say this is the summary or the dashboard of everything so after you're done checking all your info all you need to do is click create server right there and it's going to give you or 
let you in a crew. As you can see there, it's gonna say your turn and press start. You have to press start as soon as it tells you. Because there are a lot of people that they are using the same method. So you have to be careful. Okay, now it's gonna send you to this web page. It's gonna say it's gonna give you the server details right there. I was mistaken, the host name is actually not the IP address, it's just the name of the server. And there's actually the IP address right there and the port. So you can click copy, so you can copy each one of them, and then go to your Minecraft and paste them over there. So I'm just gonna do that, I'm gonna be right back. You have to actually wait until it says online over there. So if it's not online, it's not gonna work. So just wait for it till it says online and it's gonna see the resources that you just gathered. So, so we're already using 1% CPU of the server, 6% memory and 1% disk. So as I said, I'm just gonna copy these and put them in the Minecraft. So here we are back in Minecraft. Just put any server name you want. You don't just have to be anything. Then copy the server address and the port. After doing that, just click save. Okay, as you can see there, it's saying dedicated. And you can see the ping, 96. And online, there's zero after 10 people online. And I forgot to say this, it can only be 10 people in this server. So let's join the server and let's see where we are. Okay, here we are. Uh, we just entered the server world right, right there as you can see this is a completely different world than the other one and uh yeah i don't know why it's just a night time right now so there you go there you have it you are inside the server and if you want to be op there's you can't be op just like clicking this so i'm going to show you guys how to do it in the website itself okay so here we are in the website all you need to do is go to the left side and click on console and this is where you can put all the commands. As you can see down there, there's type a command. You're just gonna type OP and there your player name. So I'm just gonna type my name right there and click send. Okay, as you can see there, it says OP ALG Sonic. It just took a minute because it's delayed, but uh, we got it again. Just do OP, don't do slash OP because it doesn't work. Also, you can see the players that they are online by clicking to the players section. You can go to the operators, but you can see your name. You can see the ban list. You can actually ban players by adding their names or their IP address. And if you want to add add-ons, all you need to do is click on the files over there, click the behavior packs and add these different types of files. You have to select the file and then add it. But uh, yeah, you can just do that. Okay, going back to Minecraft, as you can see there, I'm now operator and I have all the permissions that I can do. And when I go to the settings, I can change the game mode. And uh, yeah, you, can, you can't actually activate the cheats for some reason. However, you can still change the difficulty, make it peaceful or something, because you want to make a peaceful world. But you can change the weather or the time. Anyways guys, that's the whole tutorial about it. I showed you guys how to make the server, how to make yourself OP, and also how to add add-ons. If you want a detailed version of all that, I can make it. Just let me guys know in, down in the comments section if, you, if this was helpful or not. Again, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.